Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy new years. It's 2024. Now, if you can't tell already, I still have a little bit of a cold. I thought I got over it and I uploaded my new video and whoosh, it came right back just to smash me. But I've been on cough medicine. I'm taking all the vitamins. I'm doing everything I can to get better. So I sat down today and I thought I would create my next video. So if you like goals, if you like planning, if you're on a transformation journey just like me, then keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade and thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm so excited. I have a huge announcement to share, but also it's the new year. Let's talk about goals, resolutions. Let's get into it. We're thinking about 2024, we kind of have to reflect on how 2023 went. So for me, it was such a massive year. It was transformative. I had to learn how to self-motivate myself, getting back on track, dealing with setbacks and so many great, great things happened. Last year was awesome. And when I say achievements, I mean everything, getting back on track, getting up, deciding that I wanted something better, I wanted to change. I tried different forms of exercises and I learned that the biggest lesson was to have fun along the way. It wasn't about beating myself up, it wasn't about, oh, you know, like I should be doing this, I should be doing that. It was, I wanna change and I need to start somewhere. And I started to do that. That's something worth celebrating. And listen, just because you fail, it does not mean that you are a failure. As long as you are trying, you are doing your best. And I have to say, everything that I learned last year, especially towards the tail end of the year, has greatly influenced what I have planned for this year, things I wanna achieve this year. Oh, also I totally forgot to mention, you might have noticed, but the quality is so much better because I invested in a vlogging camera. I'm so excited, oh my God. I've never had a vlogging camera before, but I really wanted to take this serious and give it a really good shot. So normal iPhone for me, Sony camera, yes. One thing that I had learned in the tail end of last year is that it was really important for me to be really clear and set goals. Now, because it's the new year, you can call them resolutions, you can call them whatever you want to, it doesn't matter. And you don't need a new year to happen to actually start your journey. You can just wake up one day and think, Today is the day and boom, you're on your way. But setting goals for me is really important because I find that it is so much easier to track the many milestones that you're achieving along the way, but also really easy for you to reflect and look at how far that you've come. When you have a clear goal in mind, you can visualize where you're trying to go. And I feel like that is really, really important because sometimes if you don't have a goal or maybe it's not as clear as you want it to be, you have nothing to measure yourself against. And that can be really challenging when you need to self-motivate, you need to get up, you need to start doing things and everything like that. But because you don't have a clear goal in mind, it sort of feels like sometimes you're maybe not getting anywhere because you're not tracking yourself along the way. So my goals, I'm gonna be sharing them here with you today and I'm absolutely loving doing these videos. It's such a great way to keep accountable and I'm absolutely loving the community that we're building. And I wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who has left a comment, liked, subscribed. You guys have motivated me so much. Your support means the world to me and honestly, I don't know if I could have gotten this far without you. So thank you so much to family, friends, the community on here. Thank you guys so much. What I've done is I've broken down my goals into three categories. These are the big umbrellas that all my little sub dot points or whatever you wanna call them fall underneath them. So number one is my health and fitness. Number two is personal growth. And number three is my mental health and well-being. So resolution number one is definitely health and fitness. I am so happy with all of the progress that I've made. And yes, I've had a setback, I've gotten really sick. I've taken roughly around about two and a half weeks off of any sort of movement because I actually feel like I have had some sort of cold or chest infection or I don't know what it was. And honestly, I haven't really been sick like that or like this, sorry, in a really long time. And I'm so grateful I'm on the tail end now and I'm so excited to get back into it. Going back to my original point, 
I am really excited to continue to transform my body. So I want to definitely transition into some more weight-based training because what I've been doing lately is definitely more on the cardio side of things. And granted, I was doing reformer Pilates and things like that. Yeah, overall, I just feel like I, I want to be able to feel like I'm an active person. And also, I really want to see my potential. I want to see how far I can get and how I can change or the limits that I can push. I'm really, really excited because a couple months ago, I couldn't even run 30 seconds on the spot. And like, that is such a big difference to where I'm at now. And it's only been around about two to three months or two and a half months around about that time period. So I can't wait to see how far I can really take things. I want to have some sort of feeling of a cross training vibe, if that makes sense. I, I don't want to just strictly stick to weights. I want to be able to have an overall fitness ability. But in saying that, I definitely still want to be open to trying new things. I want to continue to put myself out there. If friends reach out to me and say, let's give this a go, then, you know, I want to be the yes person and not feel insecure, not feel embarrassed, not feel like, oh, I'm not sure if I can really do that or yeah i just want to be able to give things a go and have so much fun i want to try things maybe like i've never been ice skating give that a go maybe pole dancing along with what i've just said i'm acknowledging that i will be actually training quite hard and upping the ante per se and with that i really need to improve my body mobility Improving my overall mobility is going to be a huge priority for me this year. My body is pretty stiff and even though I have been working out, that is something I have been neglecting a little bit. Even though I'm on holidays right now, I am going to be returning back to my office job and I really want to make sure that I'm taking care of my body. I want to try and improve my posture. But overall, I'm really excited to continue this journey and to see how far we can go. Alright guys, so next resolution is going to be personal growth. I am so excited to announce and share with you guys that, oh my god, I can't even believe it. I am so excited to share with you guys that I have enrolled and I'm on my way to be a personal trainer. Now this is something that I have really wanted to do for quite a while and being honest, insecurities is the main thing that held me back. Not anymore the old jade was held back by insecurities and fears but remember we're trying to shed that this year i'm going to completely embrace doing this study and i really really want to achieve this i have already started studying and i do not plan on slowing down one thing that i have felt every single time that i've started a weight loss journey a health and fitness journey is i always sort of felt like i was going into the situation quite blind i felt so overwhelmed i didn't know who, would, who to believe, whose information is valid, whose isn't, what training style would be the best for me? What is a goal? What am I trying to achieve? It is so intimidating if you don't have the right knowledge when going into the fitness world. And I am no exception. So I've been learning as I've been going and having this knowledge behind me is going to be so valuable and it gives me such a strong foundation. So my plan is to share as much as I can while I'm learning and share any standout information that I feel like I've had epiphanies along the way. And this could be as simple and easy as basic information because sometimes you don't know what you don't know. There will be no gatekeeping here. I am here to learn as well, but I feel like overall, I'm putting myself out there to try and learn all of this information anyways and having knowledge is power. So one of my goals is to complete and graduate this year if it's possible and you know realistic for me but that is my goal. I want to graduate ASAP. I am so excited to learn, grow and share as much information as I can. So goal number three, resolution number three is mental health and well-being. Now I know that this year is going to be such a busy year for me, so it's really important that I find some quiet time for myself. I am the type of person that if I have too many things going on, I just keep powering through until I get to a stage where either I catch a cold or get sick or I burn out and I'm, then I need to take around about a week off of everything. So this year I'm planning on not doing that. I'm going to try and schedule maybe one singular day every week where I just get to relax. I get to just have some quiet time and do whatever I feel like doing that day. Not having so strict goals and having an overall, I guess, 
overarching goal is important because then it also allows to be flexible it allows for things to chop and change as they happen accounting for that one day just for myself i can do whatever i want and i can lay in bed all day do nothing watch netflix catch up on shows or I can catch up with friends, family, spend time with Dylan. That can all be included in quiet time for me. This next point that I'm gonna talk about kind of ties into my first goal, which was for, you know, the fitness aspect. But I really want to make sure that I am connecting my physical health with my mental health. So making that promise of following through with mobility, stretching, maybe doing yoga, breathing practices, things like that. I think a slower type of movement would really benefit me because then I am still moving, but there is that whole mindfulness element that comes with it. And I find that when you're doing yoga or aerial yoga, things like that, you have to be really in the moment and focus on your breathing, take the movements and flow through them. As I really sort of feel like that is a, a style of movement that gives back to you in such a kind way. One point that falls under the mental health and well-being is definitely therapy. Now, if you haven't really tried therapy for whatever reason, I would strongly urge just to give it a go. I think that accessing therapy is really, really important, especially as you're going through the motions of life. I think that therapy can be a real lifesaver. So for me, even though I don't have anything significant going on in life at the moment, I really want to, I guess, access therapy to do maintenance. And when I say maintenance appointments, it's just a, I guess, check in. I'm super lucky. I found a really good therapist and we get along really well. And I've always said this to friends or anybody who's asked advice about therapy. You have to find, oh, a bird. You have to find the right therapist because, you know, you're in such a unusual setting that you're not used to. You're trying to get to know somebody and also open up to them and tell them such deep things. And it's really hard to be vulnerable if you don't feel comfortable. So hopefully in this year, I'm going to be accessing therapy maybe once every couple months, once every quarter, just to see, just to have a chat and talk about how things are going. I feel like you, there doesn't always have to be something wrong for you to have a chat with someone. So let's talk about the action plans. Like I said earlier, when I'm planning for a goal, I write down the main category and then the things that I want to achieve along the way. So it is a little bit plan heavy, but this will set you up for success. It's important to know why you're doing things. And remember, you're doing this for you. So your goals can change at any point and it is totally fine. Your goals will change. I feel like that's inevitable because you change, I change, we change over time. So our thinking, our goalposts will move. Of course, challenges are going to arise. I mean, that's life. Things are going to pop up and you're gonna to have to deal with them. I feel like the main thing to keep in mind if obstacles do arise is to just remain flexible. It's okay to take a step back when you need to. It, above everything else, your mental health is what's going to keep you going for the long term. And like I've always said in my other videos, remember, this is not a quick fix. We're not here to just boom, change overnight. That's not going to happen. We are here for the long-term success. We're here for the long end game. My main thing, and it's so important, is to make sure you have fun and you enjoy what you're doing along the way. This is not something to punish yourself or to have a miserable time. You're here to have fun. I mean, you might be dying during a workout, but I mean, at the end of it, you're gonna be so happy that you did it and you celebrated. So for myself, every three months, I'm going to be doing some form of really in-depth check-in. I'm gonna be reflecting along the way naturally because I mean, I'm doing these videos, so I reflect really, really often. Often. But every three months, I want to reassess each goal, things that I have achieved, reflect on them, and really celebrate all of the mini milestones that I have achieved. Also, giving myself three months gives me a good amount of time to really invest and try something out. If it doesn't work, I'm more than happy to pivot, change what I need to, or go even further. Maybe I want to give it six months. Overall, I think this year is going to be so amazing and I cannot wait to see where it takes me. So some things that I might suggest is if you are a visual person, create a vision board, get a whiteboard, notate all of your goals and things that you want to achieve this year. If you're someone and this helps, 
Make yourself a deadline. Create a gratitude journal. Create a journal that you can bullet down everything that you have done. Or maybe you're like me. Make videos. Join YouTube, join TikTok, Instagram, whatever social media that you want. Help yourself by staying accountable. That's what you guys have done for me. Videos as well. You can watch at any point and see how far that you've come. I think it's really important to document as much as you can because this gives you fuel. This will give you progress. You will see it happening over time. But my advice is to start with the goals, get really clear on the things that you want to achieve this year. All right, guys, well, I want to hear from you. Let me know your tips and tricks. Leave me some comments down below. I have enjoyed seeing all of your comments and I can't thank you enough for your support. And let me know any tips on achieving goals, suggestions, strategies for my journey. I mean, it's a two way street here. I am really committed to achieving all of these goals and just improving my overall mental, physical health and also achieving my personal training certificate. I am so excited for what this year is going to bring, everything that we're going to achieve and we are gonna smash. So it's your turn. I want you to notate down all of your goals, all of your resolutions, and let's embark on this journey together. Remember that I believe in you and we can totally do this together. I'm so thrilled and I can't wait for the adventures that 2024 is gonna bring us. As per always, stay tuned for any of my updates. I'm gonna be documenting my progress, things that I'm learning, I'm gonna be sharing it all. As per always, thank you again so much for joining me and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.